So I'm just going to show you with the cool screen here, just to show you the uh, ball illuminating and an on-screen contact image, which should in this case be the Google Android character. There we go. Uh, I've got a missed call at the top now, you can see it tells you who it's from, and that just fades away and leaves you with the logo. Uh, so if we just pop back into contacts here, we can call that number back. Just get down one here, it's a test number. Uh, and you can send an email, a text message, or just call the person. So, oops, text there. Uh, we can just make a call. Right, so now we can bring up this little tab at the bottom here and we get the dial pad so you can uh, so you dial any options on, say, an automated voicemail service or something. Uh, or we can just press the menu button, which gives us again the dial pad. You can add a call, merge calls, swap calls, hold, mute, uh, turn the speakerphone on, or end the call. So if we just tap that to so end the call there, uh, it takes us back to the call log. So I'm just going to show you the contacts menu here if we just pop into that. Uh, we've got the contacts list and we can just tap on any contact to uh, view their details or edit it, send a message or call them for example. Um, or we can go across to the call log where we were before, or across to the dialer, or to the favourite contacts. So you can set a list of favourite contacts just to uh, get to quickly if you ever need to do sort of a speed dial function really. Uh, just go back to the contacts here, we can just sort of scroll up and down. And in doing that we get a tab here you can go through all the letters of the alphabet just to quickly get to one of your contacts. So I'm just going to show you the messaging application here so you can see the new on-screen keyboard that Cupcake offers. Uh, hitting the messaging icon there takes you into this which is the inbox uh, and it gives you the option to write a new message or view your existing conversations with other people. Rather than listing every single text message in the inbox it just lists uh, each person and then underneath the person's entry you get all the messages in sort of a conversation view. If I just tap this box here which says type to compose and that uh, allows us to type on the portrait keyboard here. Uh, it's quite an accurate keyboard, uh, quite quick and easy to use, quite precise, probably one of the best on-screen keyboards I've used if not the best. Uh, but if that one's not good enough for you, you can just rotate the device, it goes blurry for a moment and then we get the landscape keyboard which has got slightly bigger keys. You can just hit this button down here to get numbers and symbols. Uh, I've got a few more in there as well. Then go back, we've got the uh, caps lock there, uh, relatively large space bar, and your delete button and a smiley face button, which unfortunately doesn't do all smiley faces, it only does the happy face, but better than nothing I suppose. Probably one of the most important features of the HTC Magic is the Android Marketplace. Just go into it there. This is basically the Android version of the iPhone's App Store. Uh, plenty of different applications, different types that we can have a look at. Um, just go on to it, this is using the Wi-Fi connection so it should be pretty quick so like for example this one has plenty of free apps but MySpace Mobile here for example, just click install ok and uh, we get the top here, we should get a little icon to say it's downloaded any second there you go as you can see there it's just started to download at 0% and it will just uh, load up at the top there out of the way you can carry on in the uh, App Store and search for other applications that you might want to download there's plenty of fun stuff on there already, I mean there's thousands of applications you can go on scrolling forever. Um, just have a look here, we've got tools for example. There's plenty of things for, um, for example we've got a flashlight here which can just be used to turn the screen on to use as a torch, stopwatch. Plenty of different things like that as well as uh, things to patch up missing elements of the OS. For example the um, Microsoft Exchange support that's missing on the Google branded handsets can be patched up with an application from the uh, Android Marketplace which is quite nice. But it's quite a nice system, uh, just as easy to use as the iPhone's App Store and plenty of free apps as well as paid apps. Um, at the moment there's a sort of a bit of a difference between the old applications for the pre-Cupcake software and the new software but all the applications that I've downloaded have worked perfectly fine on this new Cupcake uh, software release. Uh, and it does actually say on most of the apps whether they're Cupcake compatible or not. So I'm just going to show you the YouTube application here. Just tap the icon up there and it goes straight into the application. Uh, and then we can use the search button down here. Uh, this can also be used in the Android Marketplace, I forgot to mention earlier. Uh, but we can just search for whatever we want. We've done a previous search here for mobile phones, so we just click on that. And we get some uh, 
different videos up here that we've made in the past. I'll just tap on one of these. It should load it up fairly quickly because we're on the Wi-Fi connection. The 3G is pretty good too. Here's a quick look at Nokia's new N79, uh, one of the new bar-shaped N-series devices that the company's releasing. Going to be out in Q4 this year. Just use the volume controls on the bottom there to adjust the volume. Got some on-screen player controls as well. As you can see, it's pretty quick. Quality is pretty good. Uh, pretty nice experience overall, actually. It's not quite so great on the 3G connection in terms of being able to load it up quite so quickly. But it does the job well enough. Uh, the quality is a little bit lower, I think, just to um, help it download a bit quicker. But overall, it works very well.